Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell <sighs> Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. Celtic Myths and Legends These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. Oh! Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. It's a banker's lamp. This looks like one of the diary pages. It's locked. It's locked. A tape recorder. The post-it says, play me. That's definitely Grandpa's handwriting. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can sort off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah... If you are listening to this, then it means... Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I... Uh, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame. All you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Oh, man. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Hey, Mr. Piggles. 
How have you been holding up? Don't you oink at me. Maps. Lots of maps. Grandpa loved reading maps and making maps. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. I have always loved the British countryside. It's a shame to be stuck in here on such a nice day. Not to mention all the memories. A torn out page. Enough of that. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? What did the message say again? The world is full of secrets? Shu, Egypt. And a symbol of a... swirl? From the tallest tree to the deepest river. Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. Hey, this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Paria... Pariyakaka, South America. And that looks like a drop of water. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. No. That's not it. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I did it! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Whoa. It's locked. It's a chessboard. With the game already in progress, there's no one to play. And... I'm not sure I even know the proper rules. A typewriter. Could this be one of the diary pages? Whoa. This looks like it belongs in a museum. Or like a Scottish cathedral. Nah, -uh. I've watched too many movies to go about stealing ancient relics. An old bicycle. I'm pretty sure this exact model is in fashion again. The rust just makes it more hip. Hiking by train, I'm leaving by train. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. This seems to belong to the diary. It's locked. Huh. 
This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Could this be one of the diary pages? That's a really nice... binocular. <laughs> Monocular? Um... Telescope! That's a really nice telescope. A vest, me matey! Yar! <laughs> a pretty fancy looking compass. It's Grandpa, on one of his expeditions. He sure was adventurous. Aww, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. Grandpa loved this thing, told me it was one of a kind, although he never actually told me why. I was sure that would be it. Maybe I need something else to solve this. Okay, so I need to set these hands correctly. Maybe the answer is in Grandpa's journal pages. Was that it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? No, 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 no! was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. 
so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story for another time.